हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन सो इफ यू सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इट्स अगेन फ्रॉम लीड कोड एंड दिस इज रिलेटिवली अजियर प्रॉब्लम सो आई हैव ओपन इट अप नाउ व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम से इट सेज देर आर बेसिकली टू टेबल्स आई मीन यू कैन चेक दिट आउट आई मीन आई एम नॉट शोइंग अगेन वर्ड बाय वर्ड बट अगेन एक्सप्लेनिंग यू वॉट एग्जैक्टली द क्वेश्चन सेज इट सेज देर आर टू टेबल्स अ विजिट्स टेबल एंड अ ट्रांसैक्शन टेबल Let's say you go to a mall. That's a visit, but transaction is let's say when you purchase. So sometimes it might happen that you go to a mall but do not make a purchase. That means there will be entry in visits then, but there will not be any entry in transactions, right? And that might happen. Let's say ten times you go to a mall and eight times you have not purchased anything. That means I can say okay. Let's say your name is Satish. Satish, comma eight. that's what it expect same like count of it per user that how many times they have not made any purchase uh, during a visit right so how many such visits are there per customer right so if you see here like customer 54 two such visits where they do not have no transaction customer 30 one such visit customer 96 one such visit i hope this makes sense to you so i mean you can see what it says is write a solution to find the ids of user who visited without making any transaction and the number of times they make these types of visits so we have to aggregate also such thing so if you see here it's a very clear cut case so i just take these things and put it to my notepad okay so now what has to be done is so you can clear cut see the th this is the template of the question is that okay uh it should be in visits but not in transactions how do you say that right whenever you have this that it should be in the left table but not in right right the moment you think that then you always do a left join left outer join and then you check the condition uh, where where let's say if right table is r r dot uh, whatever id is null that means you are saying okay i want to join two tables let's say uh, in this case let's say visits visits and the other one was transactions right so visits left join transactions on on what is the common criteria to join a uh, visit id on so visits v transaction t on v dot visits visit or visits uh, visit id okay v dot visit id equal to uh, what uh, t dot visit id t dot visit id right where r dot id is null that means after it joins we are checking that okay right side thing is null that means left table has that right table does not so this is how we will do isn't it so let me write this query so i will say select uh v dot customer id right from from now if i just do this let's see what does it give me i know this is not my final answer but let see what does it give me okay so let me run this now sorry where t dot id is null not id i mean i was writing pseudo code right t dot visit id now you see this was the <coughs> visits table right and this is the transactions our output what we are getting is customer id 30 96 54 54 this is what we are getting now what the result is 31 96 1 54 2 that means we have to aggregate this customer id isn't it we have to do a group by on customer id as simple as that which we can very easily do so 
you can see that what we can say select p dot customer id uh, from visits we left join transactions t on this where r dot id is null right group by group by uh, what what to group by on v dot customer id and now same thing is here so anyways i can just give a aggregation i can say a count star count star that means how many records are there for each customer right count star as what name they want count no transaction right like this so i think this should work now this should work okay let's see r uh, v t dot i think last time i changed but forgot here visit id okay and this is accepted so you can see we are getting this answer and same is what was expected so let me just take this and put it here and this is a working code so whenever you get this kind of questions that okay it should be there in left table but not in right do a left outer join and then in where clause you search for that right table dot column is null and all the columns should be null in that actually right so that's a very common pattern of problems that we have and same thing we have seen here but here one additional thing they wanted is to group by based on that right that's where we have grouped it also so take it step by step you see that i mean i ran the inside query first and then i built the outer query for this right because if my inside part is fine then to wrapper it around a group by is not a big deal right so i hope this should give you a clear cut idea on how to solve such problems or how to approach such problems so with this i'll end the session hope you liked it thanks a lot